Gene here with a review on the QQ Sentai GoGo5 Show GoGoCon book. Yes, friends. Well, GoGo5 is the 23rd Sentai of the series that aired in 1999 to 2000 with 50 episodes and two movies GoGo5 Sudden Shock, A New Warrior, and GoGo5 vs. Gigaman. But, uh, Anyway, this book here is 74 pages long and was released in 2000, shortly after the series. So ended. take a look at the cover of the GoGo5 Shogokan book. We have the name of the book right here in kanji and got a nice shot of Go Red, Go Green, Go Pink, Go Blue, and Go Yellow here on the front cover, here, which is a nice, nice cover here. So uh, let's go ahead, friends, and get into the heart of this book. So, so now the go. heart of this book, friends. And so here we go with page two. Uh, pretty much just give us nice images of the GoGo5 here. Uh, mainly uh, uh, first uh, episode images here. And then uh, nice serious uh, shots of the five together. And of course right here uh, it says 1999. So this is mainly the year GoGo5 aired. But uh, anyway, uh, well of course... Right here's a little poster here, and of course this has always been a deal here. Uh, it happened in Jetman, Jew Ranger, Die Ranger, Cucker Ranger, and O Ranger Shogun books. But clearly they would have missing pages. And of course we didn't see no missing pages in my uh, Car Ranger, Mega Ranger, and Gigamon uh, Shogun books. But uh, anyway, but this is a little poster here. Um, clearly I am missing pages 3 through 8. So, I, like I said in the past, I reckon the posters here are, are considered a page. But uh, I'll show you the poster at the end of this review. So, uh, anyway, uh, uh, going to page 9 here, as you can see here, uh, we can see the uh, uh, GoGo 5's transformation device, which is called the Go Brace. And, of course, the, uh, the uh, Henshin sequence here. And then how it all works here and the five together. Uh, nice images of Go uh, Red right here and the five Go Go Five here. So page so. 10 and 11, we are now focusing on the Senchis of the series. So here is Go Red right here. Real nice shot of Go Red right here. And another nice shot of Go Red. And you can see uh, the eyes through the visor here. That's what Gogo 5 did. You would see the eyes of each Senchi from their civilian form, you know, when they're in their uh, senshi form. And then uh, information about Go Red here and more kanji right here. But Go Red in his civilian form is known as uh, Matoi. And so here he is in the civilian form here and you can see more of him here uh, in his civilian form. Right here it says CCFD, Special Rescue Brigade. And then uh, more information here on uh, Go Red. So on the next page, uh, here is Go Blue, and then uh, uh, here's uh, the eyes and the number two right here, and then here he is again and again, and information on Go Blue right here, and Kanji talking about Go Blue here. But Go Blue in his civilian form, it, he is also known as Nagari, and so uh, as you can see, he's a chemical FF brigade. And then uh, here some more of him in his civilian form and him as Go Blue. Next page, uh, page 14 and 15. Uh, here is Sh uh, Go Green right here. And then uh, here he is. In his, you can see his, uh, uh, his eyes through his visor here. And then more on Go Green and more kanji about him here. So, and um, Go Blue in his, um, in his uh, civilian form, he is known as Shun. Here is uh, Shu right here. And uh, more pictures of him in his uh, civilian form. You can see he's a helicopter brigade, uh, CCFD. And then uh, um, more of him as Go Green. Next page, page 16 and 17. Here is Go Yellow. You got more kanji right here. You can see his eyes through the visor there. The number four. More information about Go uh, Yellow here. And then, you know, Go Yellow right here. The front, side, and back shots. And then more of him here. But Go Yellow, in his civilian form, he is also known as Daimo. Um, and he is a Captain Police Department Sergeant. And another P right there. But uh, nice shots of Daimo right there. 
And on the next page, page 18 and 19, here is the only girl of the team, but here is Go Pink. And then you can see the eyes to the visor, which is something I do like here. And then uh, more information about Go Pink and so on here. But uh, Go Pink in her civilian form, she is known as Matsuri. And uh, she is a national hospital uh, so seaside. page 20 friends, we are now focusing on the weapons and gears in this book. And so uh, here is the five laser here. Pretty much got some uh, kanji describing what the uh, five laser does. That's pretty much the whole case here. This is the gold blaster right here. So it's a gold blaster. And then that shows go red using the five laser. And then uh, right here at the bottom here is the rescue bike. This is just a bike right here. But right here, this part here is called the uh, Command Attacker. On the next page, page 21 now, we uh, here is the uh, five laser grip right here. That's for the mechas. And it shows you more information there. And then uh, here is the V-Mode brace right here. And uh, more attacks here for the uh, GoGo 5. Now this technique here is called the sibling attack technique. It's a neat little technique that the five Gogo five uh, came up with, and as a matter of fact, they did this technique in uh, Gokaijers when they did the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Gogo five tribute. But anyway, next page, page twenty two, and uh, uh, here is the uh, V Lancer. One of my most favorite weapons. I liked it in uh, light speed, but I do love this weapon so much. Uh, the V Lancer, and it shows you the uh, the uh, the nice uh, one, two, three shots of when the uh, weapon appeared in front of the GoGo Five, and what they really do here. On page 23 uh, is pretty much showing us information on the Life Bird. A Life Bird is like a bazooka or a laser, pretty much, but it shows the pieces here. You know. Uh, Got a uh, a um, a beak drill, a tail injector, um, a build dasher, and a wing spreader, and so on. So, just naming a few, and then a nice shot. So the next the page, here. page twenty four and twenty five, just uh, showing off the allies of the show. Uh, pretty much, Professor uh, uh, Tatsumi, the father of uh, the five uh, Gogo Five here, here at the top, and um, more nice pictures here of. The siblings, really nice here, just images of them rescuing people. And then uh, on the next page, page 25, uh, here is uh, Bay Area 55. This is where all the mechas come out of. And then uh, here is uh, Mazuku Kaido. And uh, pretty much just showing us more and more images. Um, and then here is um, uh, Ritsuko. Uh, mother and wife of professor and siblings so there she is right there and just giving us information of you know what happened to her in the show and so on so 26 and 27 friends we are now focusing on the mechas of gogo 5 and so here they are individually i'm gonna go ahead and introduce them to you uh here is red ladder blue thrower green hover yellow armored and pink aider and so all five of these combined together to become the mighty victory robot on uh, Robo. So pretty much the five uh, Gogo Five um, main mecha. So and then uh, here's the nice front side and back shots of this guy here. On the next page, 27 pretty much shows us the uh, victory walker and the braver sword, and of course the um, the one two three steps of the final attack here, and uh, how all these attacks work. Really nice. On the next page, page 20 and 29, we are focusing on the Go Liners. And so here they are individually. Uh, go 1, Go 2, Go 3, Go 4, and Go 5. And all five combined together to become Grand Liner. And, uh, and uh, here's some nice uh, front sides. And back shots of this guy here and the size of this guy here he is huge and then uh, some kanji talking about uh, this guy here and of course right here the uh, one two three steps and as you can see in English here it says grand liner so, so page 30 uh, here is the uh, max shutter shuttle and then uh, 
uh, it transforms to become uh, the Mighty Lunar Boy here. And uh, the nice front, back, and uh, side shots of this guy here. And of course, the one, two, three steps here of him transforming from uh, shuttle to robo. On the next page, page 31, uh, here is the Mighty Max Victory Robo. It is pretty much Victory Robo and Lunar Boy combined together to become this Mighty Mighty Mecha. And of course, uh, the nice front, side, and back shots of this guy here. And a nice final attack here. And the, uh, you know, the one, two, three steps of the final attack here. And the size of this guy here. And the codes they input uh, to uh, transform, to become, you know... Uh, from uh, Victory More, Victory Robo, and Lunar Boy to become Max Victory Robo. All right, the next page, page 32 and 33, and, and so we're going to go ahead and talk about the each individual mechas that combine together to become the Mighty Victory Mars. And so uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to them. Uh, here is uh, Red Mars 1, Blue Mars 2, Green Mars 3, Yellow Mars 4, and Yellow Mars 5. And of course, all five of these combine together to become uh, Victory Mars. And a nice name for it, too, Victory Mars. And of course, right here at the top, you have the code to input, uh, to input it and uh, to become this Mighty Mecha here. And then nice front and uh, side and back shots of this guy here. And of course, the one, two, three steps of the gun type all the way down here. And then here's more on this side, on this page. And then uh, the weapon that he has. Really nice. Nice shots of, of uh, Victory Mars, by the way. I've always been a fan of this kind of uh, mecha here. Always have. So, uh, real quickly, friends, before I get um, uh, get um, back into this book, um, I want to say I, I want to apologize. If you've been seeing a glare on this book early on in this review, I apologize. That's coming from my lights. So, just bear with it. Also, uh, make sure your annotations are on. Um, I will probably be using the annotations right in this part here, mainly because it's the villains of this series. So uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and focus on the villains of GoGo -Go 5, and they are called the Salmon Clan. And so uh, here's page 34. And so we got uh, Grand Witch, Grand Granin, and then uh, Dark King uh, Zavisi. I, so, like I said, once again, since I can't pronounce them, their names will be popping up in, in the annotations. And so, uh, here is Beast Boron here, right at the bottom here. On the next page, we have, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the bottom here. Here is Dionysus, Infant Demon Drop, slash Prince Salmandis. So, like I said... Annotations will be popping up with their names. I'll, I'll probably have all the names because I do have all this information on an index card. So, but anyway, uh, the next page, uh, page 36 and 37, pretty much show you the Salmon Clan beasts, pretty much monsters that appeared in each individual episode. So, pretty much just giving us an, uh, an indication in kanji. What, what, what episode they, they appeared in and what they did and so on. So that's pretty much the whole um, whole deal here. And, you know, this is this is another thing I like about these uh, show go -Go come books is they do get show us all pictures of all the monsters that each uh, since she has fought in each series. All right. So. My most favorite part of this show go -Go come book is pretty much images, episodes, episode descriptions, titles, you name it. And nice, nice images. So uh, pretty much page 38 and 39, we are just focusing on episodes 1 through 7. And so here's uh, 1, 2, and 3 on page 38, giving us some nice kanji here and pretty much showing a nice little, little boxes and color here, uh, mainly what the, what the episode focuses on. So pretty much all five go, go, five. And on the next page, page 39, pretty much episodes 4, four 5, 6, and 7. On the next page, page 41 focuses on episodes 12, 13, and 14. On page 43, pretty much focuses on episodes 19, 20, and 21. And then on page uh, 44, 
focuses on episodes 22, 23, and 24. So, and as you can see, you know, this is what I'm talking about. The little uh, color boxes, you know, giving us indication that the episode mainly focuses on, like, all five GoGo5 are Go Pink, Go Yellow, Go Green. It, it depends. But, uh, anyway, so the next page, page 46, focuses on episodes 29, 30, and 31. So, here we go. And then on page, uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead here. We're going to skip all the way to page 50 and 51. And uh, pretty much focuses on um, episodes 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, which is the finale. So here's all the episodes here. We have episodes uh, 45, 46, 47, and 48. And then on 51, we have the final battle with the Salmon Clan. So it's episodes 50 and 51. And so on the next page, uh, page uh, 52 and 53, pretty much uh, focuses on the Go Go 5, the movie. And so uh, just showing us what happened in the movie and so on. And then on the next page, uh, page uh 54, 55, and 56 pretty much focuses on the Gogo 5 versus Giga Man. And I love this image here. This image here is amazing. Gogo 5, Giga Man. And uh, nice images here too. And then on the uh, 58, 56, just showing us more on the cast and uh, pretty much what happens with the final battle in that movie. All right, so now so, we're into almost the end of the sh this uh, Shogokukun book. And pretty much, as you can see now, the pages are now in a reddish color. So now, friends, let's go ahead and skip all the way to page 60 here. Pretty much showing us everything like a timeline here. And then a nice shot of the cast here. And then uh, 60... Uh, Two uh, pretty much shows us autographs and nice uh, selfies of the cast. And then on the next page, uh, page, let me get to it. Page 64 and 65, uh, more nice images here. Uh, once again, I still wish all this was in color. This would have been made a little bit more better looking, really. But uh, anyway, and then uh, uh, 66, 67, just showing us some more nice uh uh, uh, magazines and uh, pictures. And then here are the GoGo5 helmet lists. That's my most favorite thing about this when it comes to Sentai. And then uh, next page, uh, let's see, page 68 and 69 pretty much shows us images from the opening and ending theme of GoGo5. And so here is the lyrics to uh, the opening here. And then images from uh, mainly from the theme. And then here's the ending and the images from the ending. So the next page, um, page uh, 70 and 71 pretty much shows you. And of course, you all know, I this is another part of the Show Gokum books I like. I uh, got a nice shot of the uh, 5 Gogo 5 here, uh, QQ Sentai Gogo 5 right here. And, and of course, it just shows us... Um, episodes 1 through 50 and the time that Gogo 5 aired and then you know just a list of you know all the episodes the air dates and then uh, here are the the uh, two movies and on the next page here friends uh, page 72 pretty much shows you a image from the final battle and of course it says forever rescue spirit and then uh, here is the table of contents which I find kind of funny to have the table of contents at the end of this book like that. But uh, anyway, but uh, page 73 pretty much shows you advertisements, uh, pretty much an advertisement of the GoGo5 versus uh, Giga Man uh, movie and pretty much it being on VHS. And then in, on the back of the cover here, uh, just giving us nice images of the 5 GoGo5 in nice, unique poses and the value for this Shogakukun book. So now, as promised, I talked about this early at the beginning of this review, but we'll go ahead and, and uh, take a look at this poster now. And so I'm going to open it up now. Hopefully I can do it with one hand. But uh, here you go, ta-da! A nice uh, picture of the GoGo 5, pretty much in their civilian form and in their uh, uh, Ranger forms. And right here it says QQ Sentai GoGo 5. And you can see right here at the bottom, it says Super Rescue GoGo 5, and with their nice GoGo 5 emblem there. 
And on the back of the poster here, here's a nice shot of Victory Mars with his weapon here. And you can see little images from uh, different mechas uh, when it comes to the, uh, the final battle with the uh, the Salmon family. The Salmon clan, excuse me. But uh, anyway, well that is it for this book, friends. So let's go ahead and conclude this review on the GoGo5 show, GoGoCon book. So, so final thoughts, friends. Go. I will tell you this. I do love the show GoGoCon books. I think they're neat to, to, to say that they give us a lot of good information, even though it isn't a kanji. But friends, it's a yearbook. You know, it was released in Japan, so that's pretty much the case here. Um, and it's really nice. I mean, I do like how it gives us episode lists, uh, air dates, images of, of the uh, characters, um, images of the senshis, images of the mechas, images of the villains, images of the monsters, images of everything. And so... Um, and that's the one thing I love about all these show Gokukun books and just about every show Gokukun review um, book review I have done. I've said this, they are nice. So, and, and I will say this, I do recommend them. I really do. Um, and to say that this book was released back in 2000 and to say that it's a, it's, it's exactly a, a 16 year old uh, book. It still looks good. Still looks good. Now, the series Go Go 5, I have not seen uh, the entire series yet. I've only seen like the first 10 episodes and probably the last three episodes of the series. So I got a lot of, you know, Go Go 5 to watch. So um, maybe one day I will take the time and watch the entire series. But right now I'm kind of busy with other stuff. But um, so far so good. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of it and I can't complain about Go Go 5. So... So, in, in other words, friends, I do highly recommend this. Make sure you get this book cheap. And uh, good luck to you. But uh, anyway, for this first review, please check out my blog, follow me on Twitter, and to like my Facebook. And if you like this review, please smack that like button. And don't forget to subscribe, friends. And friends, this is a review on the QQ Sentai GoGo5 Show Go Kukun book. I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm Eugene. I'm signing out. I'll have a good day. And friends, almost assuredly, see you next time. Bye.